Over the next three days, I'm doing an extreme bedroom makeover. For a while now, I've felt that I've outgrown the decor of my bedroom and it's officially time to change that. My goal for the bedroom is to create a little sanctuary that is just super comfortable and just makes me feel relaxed when I'm in here. The question is, should we get two? So should we get this one and this one? Should we get just this one or just this one? Just this one. But I really like the texture of that. I think that's really pretty. I think the first thing we're going to do is take off the wallpaper. I'm using a wallpaper removing machine which produces steam and helps unpeel the wallpaper. This was so satisfying to do and as you can see the wallpaper was so easy to take off and in a way I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't do this sooner. And this is it. Wallpaper down. That was honestly the easiest thing to take down. It took me about 10 minutes. Um, so now I think we need to paint it. I don't know why I'm painting with my rings on, but it's looking so good. I'm really happy with it. I just need to finish the rest of the walls. This is the wall completed. I went for that really textural look. I mixed two paint colours and I watered it down with water. And this is the effect I created and I love it so much. It was exactly what I was going for. So now that the wall is complete, I am going to get some lunch and then we'll get back to continuing the little room makeover. But I absolutely love the wall. I think it catches the light so beautifully and it was exactly the kind of finish I wanted to create.
made a bit of a, an unboxing mess. Quite a lot of packaging, but I guess the lights are glass. And we're about to go ahead and hang them up. Take these ones down. Hey, maybe blow a hairdryer and maybe there's just stuff in the way. Thanks. <laughs> so I think you have angled it, like the other one's angled. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, the electricity is on. <laughs> 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 you always go. Did you touch it? I didn't it? touch it, no. But you must have made the two ends touch. Yeah, the two ends touch. I hope you've not shorted it. Yeah, maybe. I've shorted it. I've always turned the electricity off, kids. <laughs> they work! Now I think it's time to move the bed in the correct position, put the bedside tables next to the bed, and see how it's all looking. It's now time to set up the curtains and curtain poles. I'm using the Bacrafta curtain poles and Hanalil curtains, both from Ikea. I'm most likely pronouncing those wrong. I gave the curtains an iron, as you can see here, and went ahead and hung them up. This was a very easy process overall, and Ikea instructions are always my favorite to follow as they're so simple. Now we're on to the last thing. So I'm going to spend some time just cropping out these prints that I got printed um, that are going to go on my walls. So I'm just going to use a little cutting board, a metal ruler and a little scalpel. now the third day of the bedroom makeover and it's actually hopefully the last day um, today I'm focusing on the wall that is currently behind me as you can see it's very pale and white I want to add pops of color with prints and I'm also adding a little shelf as well so I think we're going to start off with the shelf and then kind of display the prints around it but I don't have any sort of plan I just have the prints and we'll see how we get on These are my current favourites for hanging up 
paintings. I've got the command strips. These are for the picture frames. These are for posters and the glue dots. I think for the picture for the posters, I'm going to use mainly the glue dots and I will potentially use the poster ones as well. It's officially time for the final room reveal. This has been so much fun to film and so much fun to make over my room. It feels like such a nice zen space, which is exactly what I was going for. And now I'm just going to show you the final room.